Okay, time to start bad at number six. What shall happen to us this time, I wonder? Man, there's so many bad endings in, the, in this game. Okay, so it starts with... Uh, is Kent substitute teaching for you right now? Uh, you don't know? Or is it that you think I'm acting suspicious? Let's forget it then. I won't ask you anymore. Off to the next place. There isn't much reason for us to be here. Oh, and in regards to the attitude you have towards me, that attitude is correct. Be sure to keep it up. Oh, Ukio, no! I don't want to, though. Okay, now we're at the hospital. Have you spent a lot of time in the hospital? Um, there shouldn't be any problems. You seem healthy. If you were to visit, it would just be for a checkup. Well then, let's go. Not much else to do here. Right now we're at the well, and he still saves us from the well. Am I doing okay? I don't really know. You don't know? Hey, I know you're a bit shaken up, but... <laughs> I see. I can't tell if you're a bit dim or just strong. Or maybe you too are starting to notice the oddities. Huh? Not afraid, but something that something is off. Or am I reading into things too much? What is he talking about? <laughs> There's oddities. Um Okay, so he saved us three times from a dangerous situation. And I can pick whatever I want here, so maybe I'll pick um. You look like you don't believe what I'm telling you. I don't blame you. I sometimes even wonder what I'm talking about. You don't have to believe me. Okay. So I don't have to believe you. Oh, let me hold her hand. Uh. Oh, I just let's go of it right away. I'm so sorry. I didn't respect your personal space. I can't help it sometimes, so if I do anything you don't like, please tell me, okay? If you really have to, you can just scream and run away. What the heck? Distance to the point of screaming and running away is normal? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ryan. He's like, nah, man. <laughs> what did you think about today? <laughs> uh, it was not as sweet as last time. Good night! See, that was way less interesting than doing that whole theorizing with Orion and yelling back and forth. I'm glad I did that the first time. <sighs> now it's a new dawn. It's a new day. Gasp. Okay. Oh, okay. This is, I think, the day that Shin and Toma come to visit. Instead of saying, welcome home, masters. Good morning. Hey, it's not good morning. We're here as guests today. Whatever. If we're the customers, obviously she's not going to be in character. Uh, you guys are here again. Blah, 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 blah. He's like, you shouldn't take sides with these guys. I'm telling you right now. It's a bad idea. And I like, ah, let's go to the concert first and then the movie. <laughs> oh, no. You mean in that order? That's impossible. We're inviting you on the same day. So what? Are you just saying that because you can't come up with an excuse to say no? Ah, sorry. Then why don't we just pretend I never invited you? Let's do that. Hey, don't try to act all noble. No, let him do that. <laughs> fine, fine. Forget about my invitation. Let's save it for another day. Well, we'll be heading out now. Good luck with work. <laughs> Later. That went better than I thought. Phew. That is a very long transition going on, my goodness. Okay. August 7th. Uh, Rika's freaking out. <laughs> I'm still weirded out by the fact that she was our best friend. Um, well, apparently we can ask whatever we want here. 
What kind of person is Rika in this world, Sawa? What kind of person is she? I don't really know. I only met her once. She's the president of the fan club, right? That's all I know. Fan club for whom? I wonder who. Alright, we should have another choice coming up soon. Oh, there's Rika's text. Hey. Do you believe everything Ukyo says? Not really. Right. A random attacker. That sounds so random. What else can you do when someone tells you that? Hey, I just noticed. He doesn't walk you home. <laughs> this is true. Um, okay, I have to click. I'm safe. I see. I'm glad. I didn't know what I would have done if you didn't trust me. That's all I wanted to say. Later. Oh! Um... Okay, this time I'm like, how, how did you know? How? You mean about the random attacker? Well... On August 7th, that damn attacker stabbed me at the station before. Oh, Ukio. What? <laughs> I would have liked to say, were you alright? The music. You're lying, right? Uh. <laughs> yeah. Of course I'm lying. Duh. If I wasn't, you'd be bothered, right? <laughs> Hang up! <laughs> no! Ugh. That's why he knows. I didn't really get that, I don't think, the first time around. But I understand now. The reason he knows what's going to happen, what the world's gonna throw at her, is because he has died from all these things. <laughs> so he's like, I know what the world's gonna throw at you to get rid of you, because I was a foreign substance in other wor worlds, and it got rid of me with this, 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 and this. And now you're the foreign substance, and now it's gonna do the exact same thing to you. Uh, do you think he's... This was a whole Groundhog Day thing I think we were talking about, right, Orion? No. You think? But forget all that! He's creepy! Ooh oh. <laughs> I don't think we're going to do that. We're gonna stay home, I believe. Yes, I will stay home. We will not touch that with a 10 foot pole. We won't die. <laughs> and we can pick whatever we want here. Hey, wait a minute. No, I won't. Why not? You should only see me where there are a lot of people nearby or else it's too dangerous. That smirk, though, and he's like, No, I'm not. <laughs> I will not wait one minute. I will not wait one second. I will not eat green eggs and ham. <sighs> okay, what is happening on August 10th? Okay, we got some stuff to pick, apparently. Oh, right. He's gonna choke us now. Uh, instead of me punching him. Uh. Rosy Cheeks! What are you doing? Hurry and run for it! If you... didn't exist... Rosy Cheeks! What? Rosy Cheeks! Oh, he snapped out of it himself. Uh, uh, ah! Ah! Huh? What now? He snapped out of it himself. Oh, this time, apparently I'm supposed to say, no, he didn't hurt me. Ah, okay. Good. You know, I'm telling you, if you just approach me unguarded like that while I'm asleep, that's no good. Okay. Um... I can pick whatever. <laughs> so can I approach you when you're awake? 
My being awake would be worse. Please, try your best to keep at least two meters of dis distance between us. Ah, What is he talking about? Uh, are you homeless? I have to ask. <laughs> oh, right. Memory time. And I can pick whatever. Oh, really? I can pick whatever here. Alright, I guess I might as well. Did I used to have feelings for you? Ugh! What?! <laughs> hey, that's not good! That question is just way too suspicious sounding! That... beats me. I don't know how you felt, nor is it something I should answer for you. I knew you wouldn't say that. But... what I can tell you is that I love you. You are more precious to me than anyone in this world. That is more of a reason that you shouldn't come near me. Uh, uh, so sad. Oh boy. Right, well that happened. And I don't think there's anything today on the 11th. Just have to wait for the 12th to come along. How about the fireworks show? We'll go shopping for yukatas. Bleh. Ugh, oh, that loading screen still creeps me out. <laughs> Rika, stop being nice to me. Okay. So I can pick to either say I will go or I think it'd be better to stay home. Hmm. Well, why not? Iki is my second favorite, after all. I think I will go. You sure are brave. I am a bit worried. Well, it should be fine. If you see it at home all the time, your memories would probably be stuck, so a fireworks show might be a good idea. Thank you. <laughs> hey, if I'm going for a bad end, I might as well go see the fireworks with Iki. Right? Yeah. That's how Ukiyo would want it, I'm sure. <sighs> then I can pick whatever today on the 13th. Ah, that alarm, though! No. Oh, what a good timing for a message. Is it Iki? I'm sure it's about today. I wonder what time we're meeting. Come to think of it, wouldn't it be too cold to be in a Yukata in this kind of weather? It's pretty much autumn. I wonder if it'll warm up later on. Well, I'm sure you won't freeze to death or anything. <gasps> what if Iki is hoping for a situation to say, If you're cold, come closer! He's totally that kind of guy! Oh, I guess that wouldn't happen. Seems like Iki isn't all that into you. Hmm. Oh, sorry, the message, huh? So what does it say? Uh... Sorry. Aw, oh, man! Darn those fan club members. The other girls are kind of worked up about my going with you today. I doubt it will end well if I ignore them. Sorry, but can we cancel today's date? I know I'm the one who invited you. I'm really sorry. What? Really? Aw. I want to say that's messed up, but I guess we can't help it. He's probably saying it for you. But to get in the way of what Iki really wants to do, don't you think his fans are a little messed up? More than a little. They're not thinking about what's best for Iki, they're just prioritizing what they want to do over his feelings. Oh well, what can we do? Why don't we just hang out at home today? I guess that's all you can do. Where did the fireworks have started? Oh, this time Orion will stay inside. Aw, boo. Ah, but I guess you're right. Now isn't the time to be watching fireworks. You're so serious. <sighs> I'm sorry, sweet Orion. I'm sorry. We did do it in another route. In the normal end. That was like the only thing good about the normal end. Eh. Now 
Okay. Those darn fan club members. I didn't even go. You got what you wanted. This time I have to say, it is kind of a bother. Right? I'm so sorry. She seems to feel really bad. She didn't seem to have bad intentions, so let's forgive her. Okay, she's gonna get us some clothes, and we're not gonna tell Toma about the, the fan club. Because <laughs> that never happened. <sighs> right. Right. Okay, what do I pick this time? <laughs> I think he's a bit scary. He can be. I see. I wouldn't blame you. There are times where even I feel worried by the way he acts. But maybe it is in our best interest to stay away from him. Oh crap, it's almost time for our break to end. Let's get back. I'll consider the cottage thing, if it ever happens or not. Um... Okay, so we're still gonna go out. Today. Um... But we're just going to take a walk and not actually look for Ukyo. Okay, let's change and get going. Just a nice, relaxing walk. Such a nice day out. Perfect for a stroll. Mm, you there. Ah, you there! Go away. Ah, I knew it. Did you have today off? It's Toma. I wonder if he lives around here. If so, let's stay far away from that hellhole. I have today off too. It's good to stop by school sometimes. And I'm glad that you're bust busting your butt at work, but don't forget your real job. Oh, don't talk to us about that yet. I wonder what ha what'll happen if school starts while you're still in this predicament. Well, later. Oh, wait. I forgot to say so. Uh, good morning. I was a little worried about you yesterday, but I'm glad to see you're doing fine. <sighs> Toma's a good guy. He's like a big brother, as long as you don't tell him that anything bad's happening to you. Yep, when he's not a crazy end area, it's okay. This isn't your university, right? Then that means this town has two college campuses relatively nearby. Interesting. What are you doing here? I knew it was you! Oh, it's Kent! We're gonna m meet all the boys! How rare for you to come to this campus. Who are you here for? EQ or Rika? EQ should be here in the afternoon. I haven't seen Rika or Mine today. If you need them, just walk around. Well, I'll be on my way now. You sure you don't want to hold hands, we can't? I wonder if he would ever think you could possibly be here for him. <laughs> oh, Orion, don't break my heart over another guy. Kent was at your university the other day, right? Ukyo was saying something about a substitute or something, but we couldn't get much in the way of details. I wonder if he's doing some kind of joint research at both universities. Sounds possible. Wait, no! Is Kent a student? Or not? Age-wise, I wouldn't be surprised if he's graduated already. Oh crap, we don't even have the most basic information, do we? Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay, Orion. You and me can speculate. The back alley. Oh, hello. We actually meet you in the back alley. Oh, hey. It's Iki. Man, we're bumping into a lot of people today. Um, there are girls from my fan club around. Have you seen them? Huh? I don't think so. And besides, we wouldn't know which ones belong to the fan club anyway. Sorry, but if you bump into any of them, can you not tell them that you saw me? <laughs> I have to go to campus and have a bout with Ken right now. Oh, well, have fun! But if the fan club girls come with me, Ken will get mad because they're so noisy. Thanks. Later. Bye, Iki. Man, Iki sure got some problems. <laughs> oh wait, us too, huh? Let's hurry before the fan club crazies find us. Yeah. We don't need any of that.
Oh, hey, in front of the cafe. Hey! What are you doing? You don't have work today, right? Then get out of here. You sit near you. There are so many customers that saw one I are swamped. If the manager sees you, he might make you help out today. Uh, I'd like to avoid that. I mean, today is our day off and all. Huh. Wait, so the only other people in the cafe are Sawa and the manager? Whoa, I wonder if Sawa's okay. I'm on break right now, but I have to hurry back or Saw will be screwed. Oh no. Shen, you're so good. Even earlier, she put some kale green tea into a teapot by mistake and served it. Oh, I see. That must have sucked for the customer. Ugh, I guess I'll be off. Later. Aw, we, we ran into all the guys! That was so nice! Just not the most important of them all. <sighs> it's nice that the cafe is really popular, but I guess it's understaffed. Why don't they hire more people? Uh, but I can see the manager being particular, particular of stuff. I wonder if he's having a hard time. Possibly. I'd like to see Ukyo in a uniform now that I think about it. We walked a lot today, and bumped into a lot of people. But we didn't get much information, unfortunately. But yeah, I guess it's not bad to have days like this where we just have fun, right? I had fun. I feel like we take everyday life for granted, like the world around us. Or at least I feel that way. I wonder if I'm the only one. Well, I'm sure eventually the memories of us spending time together will disappear from you. But... I'll be sure to hold on to the memories of walking around with you like this, okay? Ah. Well, I guess we should start heading back, before it gets cold. Aw, sweet Orion! <laughs> sweet Orion is so sweet, though. <sighs> oh. Is this a new memory? When I was in elementary school, my grandfather passed away and left this house. I loved it here. I had made so many happy memories. But... But we've done this before. We've done this before! I've seen this face, this is what made me cry. Oh, that's right. He is here. <laughs> yeah, I, d I pretended not to notice you cry, baby. <laughs> Me? I will be the love of your life. It's actually going to be a few days until, uh, Something new happens, so, uh, I'll bring you in for that, guys. Or actually, I was just talking out my nose, because, uh, apparently Orion's like, Hey, what you just saw, or rather the dream you just had, it was a memory, wasn't it? Oh, good, you finally got back a memory! The step may be small in relation to your memories overall, but it's still a big step for us. We now know that memories can return in fragments. So that must have been a memory between you and Ukio, right? Just as Ukio said, you and he met in Kobe. I hope you can keep getting back your memories like this. In the form of dreams? That'd be nice. Okay, and now it should be nothing for a little bit. I'll bring you in on the 18th. Oh, we're at the festival. Instead of saying, why don't we just stay here and talk? I'll let him follow me around while I walk around. Okay, then I'll just follow you quietly. Oh, I wish you'd just be normal for once. <laughs> he can't be, man. He can't. Oh, there's a group of people gathered over there. Oh, it's Iki and Shin. <laughs> They're at it. So now we're at two to two. Iki. 
You sure are hanging in there. I thought I could keep the gap bigger. I'm pretty focused. As for you, Iki. Iki, you're so wonderful, I think I'm going to faint. Shan, I guess you're just alright, but still cool. You better lose to Iki. I wonder whether this angle would be better for taking a photograph. Hey, all of you watching him, be gone from here! Oh. Uh. Aren't they sort of the reason why your aim is off? <laughs> Poor Iki. Can't catch a prank. Oh! Hearts versus spades! Wow! New loading screen. Awesome. Wow, there were a lot of people watching. So many girls gathered to see him. So next... Are we gonna run into everybody? Cause if so, awesome. Whoa, manager! How can you get so many goldfish with just one paper spoon? Technically, I suppose this isn't a spoon as much as it is a scoop. Anyway... These brave warriors are all awaiting salvation. I'm going to put my life into this scoop. Woohoo! You're awesome! Um, no, this isn't scooping someone to safety. <laughs> Poor Orion, he's like, what has been seen? Anyways, last pair. Oh, Kent looks a little bummed. He was in the lottery group, right? Poor Kent. Ugh. Who would have thought that there were some false connections from the start? Then the probability theory is useless here. Yeah, that happens a lot. For the best prizes, there are dummy strings attached. So no matter how much you pull, it's made so you can't win it. But I got what I wanted, so I'm pretty happy. What you wanted? There was something you actually wanted from there. Yeah, a remote-controlled car. The old kind. They reused prizes from a long time ago, so this is pretty rare. So rather than the brand new game console, I was going for this one from the get-go. <laughs> <laughs> Diamonds versus Clover! Poor Kent, he's just passed out from all his math. My equations were useless, I just wanted that sick game console. Man, you can see everyone's personalities. <laughs> it's true. I ended up having fun. It was back to the basics for me. It was quite enjoyable. Yeah, the owner of the fish scoop stall was crying. <laughs> <laughs> you were so awesome! I thought I was going to fall in love! Oh, Sawa's going after Waka now. Thank you, Sawa. But if you want to fall in love with me, you'll first need to be on time. Aww. <laughs> At least he gave you a hint. Damn, Shen. The surprising dark horse. Well, I wouldn't have challenged you if I sucked. <laughs> Normally, I wouldn't let anyone who defeats Mr. Iki slide, but... Iki looks so adorable with his upset face! Therefore, I suppose I can forgive you. I must hurry home and back up these photos. Those two are so creepy. <laughs> yep. Can't are you still thinking about it? <laughs> He's gonna be perturbed forever. No, it's not about not having a prize. On the contrary, it's beneficial for the owner to be able to reuse prizes. But wouldn't it be more effective if you increased the number of prizes, made the rotation better, and enticed customers from other vendors? Well, that is one technique, but normal people wouldn't go that far. Why not? Why? How long you got for me to explain this to you? I haven't seen Ukyo in forever. This is not okay. Okay, shave dice contest. Let's get it done. Hopefully Ukyo doesn't lose. Oh, he still walked us home. This time we just say thank you. It's not something to be thankful about. I mean, this will all end at the end of this month. If you can get through August, you'll be fine. Yeah. 
But I have a bad ending. Well, see you around. I had lots of fun today. Thank you. Oh. We've got a few more days left of this, and then we'll be at our bad ending. There's basically something happening every day, though. Okay, um, today I will stay inside. Oh, if that's the case, why don't we check out the plans that you would have had? There might be something written in your journal, or maybe something in your notebook. Okay. Thirty minutes later. Whoa, that was unexpected. Didn't think we'd find it so soon. In your journal from June, it says... Be sure to make reservations for the hotel in August by the end of July. So I guess you were planning on a trip around this time. And the prices are all listed here. The round trip airfare and the hotel price. The flight isn't that expensive, so it can't be very far. Well, I wonder if it's Kobe. But I don't see any hotel name that was reserved. So does that mean you didn't end up making any, re any reservations in July? I don't know when you decide on shifts, but if you made it before you met Ukyo, maybe you were trying to save up money. Oh. Oh, I guess. Hello! <laughs> so friendly, Orion. Shin! What are you doing here? This is weird. <laughs> oh, you're here. What, you just rang my doorbell for the hell of it? Shin! Well, what do you want? Hey, do you think you can lend me the reference book you were talking about the other day? Reference book? I wonder what he's talking about. Any clues, rosy cheeks? You promised, remember? The one you used when you were still in high school. You mentioned it would be helpful since we were going to apply to the same college. Oh. Then does that mean Shin is applying to Miyuga? Oh. A memory? Wait! Whoa! A memory about Shin and Ukyo's route? This is unexpected. Uh, thanks for helping me study. I wasn't planning to depend on you two so much. Don't worry about it. I'd be happy if you came to my yoga. Why don't you take the same seminars as me? They're tough, but pretty interesting. Haha, <laughs> real funny. Taking the same courses as you would mean I'd be a future lawyer or something, right? How about no? Well, it wouldn't be limited to just law, but something in that direction. And besides, I don't want to still be hanging out with you and Rosie Cheeks when I'm in college, you know. What? You're a killjoy, you know that? But then again, I am actually pretty busy, so I wouldn't always be able to see you anyway. You seriously need to grow out of that big brother stuff. Well, I think I'm growing out of it in my own way. You're more like a brother that lives far away from us now. Lately, at least. Well, come to think of it. Yeah, huh? When we were kids, we hung out every day. The three of us. We're always friends. Ah, uh, I see. You two mention our childhood friends, huh? It's a bit late for us to find out something this major. I'm surprised we didn't get caught all this time. <laughs> I shouldn't have been waiting patiently the entire time. But I'm glad we were able to remember. This seems to be a pretty important memory, don't you think? Uh, hey, what's the matter? Whoa! Crap, we were in the middle of a conversation! Uh, reference book, huh? Come in. I... I wonder which one it is. There seems to be a lot. Forget it. We'll take them all and have Shin pick. <laughs> oh no, this will not go well. <laughs> The... Hey. Why did you bring so many? Whatever. Let me see. Uh... Psychology that even a gorilla could understand. No, that's yours. Oh, it is? History for whales. Easy modern literature for hyenas. Classics for birds. 
Is this some sort of animal series? Not that even a kiwi would understand. That's the one Kent made. I wonder why he chose a kiwi. <laughs> Cause it's green! 100,000 practical English words. Ah, this is it. Well, thanks for letting me borrow this. I didn't know which book would be good to you, so you did me a huge favor. But 100,000 vocab words? They're basically asking us to memorize the whole book. Whatever. Later. Good luck with studying! Right, thanks. I'll try my best since you're helping me out. I promise I'll get accepted. I like that face on you, Shin! Stay awesome, Shin! Still love you long time! August 20th. Gotta skip. Maybe I'll go to Meiru no Hitsuji. As a customer, right? I guess that'd be pretty nice for a change. Well, let's change and get going. Alright. We're off to Meiru no Hitsuji. Who shall serve me? Welcome back. Oh, it's the manager. How sweet. You've come to see us, even on your day off. Shin and Toma are over there. It's surprising. Toma seems to be troubled today. Toma is troubled? I wonder what happened. Man, a letter these days. That's rare. Why didn't you give her your email address? Well, no, you see... Who cares? Why hide it? It's not about hiding. That's not the issue here. I... Hey, it's Rosy Cheeks. Ah! No, don't see it. Hey, guess what? Toma just got a love letter from a regular here. Ooh! Tell me who so I can tell her to run for the freaking hills. Shan! <laughs> yes. I gotta tease my older brother. Right? I can pick whatever? Please say yes? Yes. Our regular? You mean Ukyo? Um... <laughs> what? You guys don't think that's hilarious? Ugh. You guys are lame. Why do I hang out with you? What kind of joke is that? You can be a pretty random girl sometimes. I wonder if she's a high school student. Worst case, a junior high student. Yeah, young girls are pretty into me for some reason. Well, older women too. So all, all, all ladies. Oh, I can see that. Toma, you don't even have siblings. Well, you guys are my siblings. Maybe I have that older brother vibe. Why are you saying it all happy? They're really close. Even though they're bickering, they still seem to be having fun. Oh, another memory? Associated with them? Oh! Remembering these guys? Is this when we were kids? Toma, my clothes are wet! What? We were playing in the water and we got wet. Right, Rosy Cheeks? Oh, you guys. You two will catch a cold. Let's go over to my place then. Both of your moms are chatting with my mom at home. Hold my hand. Okay, Shin, hold my right hand. Rosy Cheeks, hold my left. <laughs> Let's go home together. That's right, Shin didn't argue. Whoa, this is a pretty old memory, huh? From when you guys were kids. Ah, so precious. And those kids with the tiny voices are... Hello. You guys! And you're all grown up! What is this weird feeling? Now I know why Toma feels like an older brother to you two. What are you staring at? Nothing. <laughs> Ryan! What? Nothing. What? Spirit Bug can't just stare at, at his brothers? You're included as part of the family now, Ryan. It's official. August 21st. Only a few more days. 
Oh, phone is ringing. Sawa got scolded. Uh, where are we going? We're going to Seichi University today. Got it. It'll be our first time going there. I'm nervous. What do you mean it's our first time going there? We've been there before. Oh, someone's coming. You idiot! I'm never hanging out with you again! What? Oh, rosy cheeks! Are you here to submit your report? Oi, sorry about that, guys. I ran out of space to record, so I had to go and make room and then come back to this spot. I think this is where it ended. And then we can continue and try to get to our bad end. I didn't think it was going to take this long to get there. But we're just palling around with everybody so far. Are you here to submit your report, or did you finish already? He's such a bastard! An ogre! With the heart of a robot! And the glasses of a demon! Oh my. He's set to resubmit it! Resubmit! Wah! Uh, I don't really get what's going on, but even I can sense that it's most likely Sawa's fault. Oh, Sawa. Kent. It's rare to find you here on our campus. hey -o. Oh, it's Kent. I wonder if we have to submit a report. What should we do? Run for it? Sawa seemed to be screaming something just now, but there are no issues with your submission. Don't worry. Huh, you've already turned it in! What a relief! Good job, you! Yay! It would have been impossible to submit a report in our current predicament. Ukio was saying that Kent was a substitute teacher. He must be scary. Damn that Sawa. What does she even mean by, I won't hang out with you anymore? I wonder if she thinks I'd be phased by that threat. <laughs> no one would be. Ah. Well, I guess I would feel bothered just a little. Oh? What? Normally, I wouldn't even pay attention to her, but since starting this job, I suppose I've changed a little. Has my dream finally come true? Has Sawa and Kent discovered each other? <laughs> Ikkyu said the cafe was understaffed and half forced me to work here. It's been three months. Lately, I've learned to enjoy conversations with people. The evening festival the other day was a great experience. Ah. Uh. So Sawa saying, I won't hang out with you anymore, is making Kent feel a little lonely, huh? Ah. Kent, that's very cute of you. But you don't have to worry. I'm sure Sawa will forget immediately. So how about you? Have you gained anything from that job? <laughs> I've made money. Real talk, though. <laughs> At least there's that. But no. I'm supposed to pick I've made friends, and I have made friends. I see. You seem to be on the same page as me. Oh, there you are. Iki? Hey, it's Iki. He's running over. Good morning, Rosy Cheeks. Didn't know you'd be here. The manager just called and said that there aren't enough people in the kitchen today. He wanted me to ask you if you can go in, Ken. What? I didn't hear anything about it. Ah, oh, come to think of it, I left my phone at the lab. So what do you think? Can you come in? I'm done here. I mean, the kitchen has always been relatively empty. I'll help. Got it. Then I'll go with you. Sorry for interrupting your conversation. Please, address all complaints to the manager. Later. Oh, I guess I don't have to go. So it was Iki who invited Kent to work at the cafe. I guess they were friends originally. Oh, another memory! With those two? Any memories with everybody except Ukio. Oh, here it comes! <laughs> Orion's an old hat at this now. That being said, Kent will be starting here as of today. Be nice to him, guys. He's tall, but he won't bite. Don't worry. Ikkyu, you don't have to say that. And besides, I can introduce myself, you know. Oh, so defensive. Whoa, I wonder if that memory was when Kent first started working there. Almost called him Quent. I wonder who it was that thought of putting Kent in the kitchen. He's really a great fit. Yeah, he'd be terrible at serving customers. He was saying stuff like, 
cooking is all about precise measurements and logical procedures. <laughs> it's a good fit for him. Man, we're getting all the boys loading screens. Ooh. Only a couple more days until the bad ending hits us. Okay. Don't have to go through that memory again. Oh, hello. <laughs> Did you text me? A blank text. Okay, this is the day. remember what this was about. I don't really want to, but... Ukyo is kind of a strange guy. I can see why you think that. You did say you were curious about him yesterday. And he did say something like this is the last time he would see you. We'll have to find out what he meant by that. Alright, he's like, can you give me one more day? <laughs> okay. So we still went anyway. Even though she wasn't all that thrilled about it, because she's got all these other boys on the side. Oh, how can you have other boys on the side with that face? Okay, we still invite him over. Gives us all the necessary things. <laughs> I have to say, it'll be fine. Well, if you say so, I guess. I guess you really trust Ukyo. Well, I guess for now, we can leave all the self-defense stuff nearby. We can do that. Okay, I think this is the same. And then we have our memory of him breaking the mirror and giving her her first kiss. Still wish I had a more passionate kiss, though. And we still ask him to please don't go. And this is the last thing I have recorded, so let's see what happens. Rosy cheeks. Well, I want to be by your side too, but... Alright then. I'll sit over here so you can go to your bed. <laughs> he didn't put himself in the handcuffs. What changed so much in this one that you weren't able to keep control? If you want to, you can go ahead and sleep. Well then, if you insist... We should take him up on his offer and go right to sleep. I'm sure those eyes are very kind. <laughs> You're really weak. It wouldn't be good to stay in this state. Please? Good night, Rosie Cheeks. Good night, Psycho Ukyo. He drew the blinds. What an idiot. How dumb can you be? I warned you so many times. I told you to not let your guard down in front of me. W what? Whoa! That bastard, he's got the stun gun now! Not again. <laughs> Aren't you a lucky one? You might be able to die the easy way. To be able to die in your sleep is the best way to go. Rosy cheeks! Wake up! Stand up! So what do you want your end to be? A knife? A rope? Or the rooftop? Well, I guess they won't be much different, will they? You are asleep, after all. Rosy cheeks! Rosy cheeks! Please run for it! Sweet dreams. Oh, let me tell you one last thing. Both me and the other me, we both love you from the bottom of our hearts. I wondered. <laughs> of course, that would make sense, wouldn't it? The split did happen after Ukiyo had already fallen in love with her. So of course Psycho Ukiyo would be in love with her too. But at the same time, he hates her because he, she's killed him so many times. <laughs> So that's the only difference, is we got slightly closer to Psycho Ukyo. So he's like, I just want to let you know before I end your life, I love you as well. <laughs> and we got so many memories with the other guys, so I was actually, that was the best of the bad, 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 best of the bad endings, meh, to me so far. Alright, one more to go.